In this Fallout 4 episode, I'm going to show you how to get to Diamond City. Now, I've already shown you how to get power armor. We're going to do this without power armor. Now, here is our main camp, Sanctuary Hills. And over that way was where we got the suit of power armor. So, the fastest way to Diamond City is to follow the power lines. So, I'm going to go... First of all, we're going to go get our first companion because he's on the way. You're going to head towards the red rocket and we're going to get dog meat. He's awesome. There we go. Your boy. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. So now you have your first companion. There are many in Fallout 4, and they can accompany you on your journeys. First up, let's click on the workshop bench. And now we can use the workshop bench here at the Red Rocket. You can also build here. You can scrap things and... But we're not going to take the time to do that. We want to get to Diamond City. Okay. Off here to the south, you can see the Concord Water Tower. We're going to head there first because I know that there are stim packs and purified water, which will increase my health because it's down a little bit. The only ways you can increase your health are visit a doctor, uh, consume foods and drinks, or sleep in a bed. So any of those things. So knowing where all the sleeping bags and beds are throughout the Commonwealth is a good thing to know. So we'll just take a quick stop here, grab a few drinks and a stim pack. I usually save the stim packs and just consume the foods. There we go. And a cram. Now it takes a little while. Now we are radiation free so far and we have full health. Now, you're heading towards this power tower here, power pylon, and we're going to follow these all the way into downtown Boston. Now, here is Abernathy Farm. There will be a mission here, but we're just going to run through real quick to get this location on our map. That's you can return enough, here. Stranger. There are we're traders the there. We don't want any and a little mini mission off to where we got our first suit of power armor over in that direction to help out the family. Stay clear of the rad stags over there. And you're going to see like a little house icon on the compass straight ahead. You definitely want to steer clear of that. The only thing we have is a 10 millimeter pistol and a tire iron. And the reason we're heading to Diamond City, also known as the Great Green Jewel, is it's the center of the entire game. It also has the most vendors, the most quests and side quests, and most of the companions you will find there or in and around the Boston slash Commonwealth area. Off to the left there, that was Concord. Uh, you were supposed to go there at the beginning of the game, but we're going to leave finding the, uh, uh, not the companions, the um, factions for a little later on. Right now, we're still kind of following the power lines, power pylons. Stayed away from that house because it's full of ghouls. And I've tried it a number of times, and there's no way I can make it without a decent weapon and without power armor. And go ahead and save often. We're still heading. We're looking for a bridge to cross the river because we don't want to get irradiated. So we definitely want to just keep following here. There's a quick save. Off to your left, you can see the Drumlin Diner. A little point of trivia or lore, Trudy from Fallout New Vegas lives there. She journeyed all the way here. So we're gonna take we a, a little bit of a detour here to avoid yeah. under the pylon because there's usually blood bugs and all kinds of different things. So we will head back this way and hook back up with the power pylons. And you can hear a little bit of the dialogue in the background. That's the events dropping down over at the Drumlin Diner. But we'll just continue our little road here. There's so much to explore. The city is absolutely massive and it's dangerous on every corner. There are raiders 
and super mutants and just dogs and other ghouls all roaming around on every corner. So it's very difficult to find things downtown. That's why Diamond City is so important. Also all the vendors. And we're almost to the bridge. Let me make sure. Yep, we're going in the right direction. Still heading kind of south. I'm gonna veer away a little bit. I want to see if this might be a slightly better route. We're heading kind of direct south along this road. A lot of these buildings hold ghouls and a lot of, you know, just coming over a little hill like this, you'll find, you know, uh, feral dogs and things. And like I said, we have nothing on us. So we want to steer clear of that building to the left, just in case there are things there. We're going to head a little bit this way. It takes about 15 minutes real time. Whoops, avoid that water. Okay, and over this here hill here, you can see the Jalbert Brothers auto salvage, I think it is. We just want to get close enough to get it as a travelable location. That's it. We don't want to engage in anything here because I think it also has ghouls. Disposal. Jalbert Brothers Disposal. And off to your left there, that's the Corvega Auto Plant. It's pretty close to there, so you can just fast travel there. This is why getting, you know, uh, locations on your map as soon as possible. Whoop, there we go. And we just received a quest to start fire support. So if you go to your radio and tune into that military broadcast, it will bring you to the Cambridge Police Station where you can meet uh, a few um, members of the Brotherhood of Steel and help them out a bit. But we're going to head this way because I think there's another bridge that might be better here. I can't remember. This out location is really neat. This is a friendly one called Grey Garden, and it's run by robots. So we're just going to get it on the map and see if we can get... Uh, we aren't allied to the settlement, which means you have to talk to somebody here and do them a favor, and then they'll allow you to build here. It's actually a really fun little uh, group of robots. And once you can build here, you get a nice view of the whole area. Now I remember this bridge. There's a lot of ghouls. There's a rad stag to the right. There was a lot of ghouls on the other side of the bridge and raiders underneath. So let's go this way. We're gonna swing left, not right, left. Nope, we don't wanna go that way. Nope, yes. Okay, let me just try to avoid their little camp down there if they're there. I don't want to go across this bridge. Let's go over to the other one. I think that's a brewery. There are a couple breweries on the map. And we seem to have avoided them. Birds. I hate these birds. That's another story. Okay, I see another bridge here to the right. And straight ahead, you can kind of see, not there, right there, you see a brown flag flying over that building. That's the Cambridge Police Station. And that's a Brotherhood of Steel flag flying. So we're just going to take this bridge. Warning about a lot of bridges, may not be this one. Many tend to be mined. So you have to go slow and pick up the mines as you travel across. This one doesn't seem to have any barricades like raiders tend to barricade either end. This one looks pretty good. Just take your time and also don't fall through the bridges. Okay, we're almost there. It's over that way. We're gonna steer clear of this building, not even bother getting it on the map right now. And we didn't have to take any radiation from any of the water sources. And yes, there are lots of bears and dogs up in this area. Try to avoid all of that. Just kind of hug the water. Not that there's not mire lurks and things, but believe me, there are lots of them. 
maybe not on this particular area, but there are lots of them. So don't assume that every water source is safe. And if you're interested in Easter eggs, I'm pretty sure that's the Jaws boat, the Orca. A little bit of a story on that one, little Easter egg. I thought I heard something. Okay, we lost that signal frequency, that's okay. Now that was the original bridge I was heading towards. You can see it's kind of like a drawbridge. And because it's up, I don't think I can get across it. So then I would have to double back here anyway. So using this route between that rail... Whoop. Okay, we want to avoid whatever is going on there. I hear gunshots. We want to avoid that. Whatever's going on there, we don't want to be part of it. So turn left here. You're almost there. You see the bridge? There's the drawbridge. And first off, I'm going to show you one of the best places in the city to build a settlement. There it is right there. Now it is occupied by raiders right now. So we're just going to sneak in real quiet like and get it on our map. We'll come back later to claim it. There it is, Hangman's Alley. Okay. The reason you're looking for settlements is beds, beds to restore your health. There are no beds in Diamond City, in a lot of places, the, it, the beds are owned, so you can't use them to restore your health. It saves you a lot on stim packs. We'll just get this wreck of the USS Riptide on. Okay, another fast travel point. So on this bridge, you're going to head straight ahead. You can kind of see the lights up above very high over there. That is Diamond City, the baseball park. So we are all fine from Hangman's Alley and this bridge all the way in. Side streets, no. Stick to this main street. You can walk around, but be careful. Where there are Diamond City security, you know you're fine. They're having a little mini battle there with the super mutants. Sometimes you can return to this area and pick up extra guns off bodies or body armor, things like that. We're just having to go around this corner. Diamond City this way. We're almost there. Protected by the wall. There we go. Diamond City. Now we're going to run into one of the vendors up here. She usually has two guards and her Brahmin. And her name Stick is Cricket. And you got a better She's annoying. But she has the best weapon in hey the there. game. Come on, come on! Get your guns here! Small booms, big booms! I got them all. Yes, you do. So we I've got a few minutes to browse. We have no money. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. And I'm going to do a special on this weapon. It's called Spray and Pray. And it's an explosive 45. And it's 2,818 caps. And in the video, I'm going to show you the give you some suggestions on how to get that very quickly. I think we're only at level one right now. We definitely want to find her again. She is not permanently there. So even if you get your caps, come back to this outside of the uh, Diamond City area and you just have to wait maybe a couple of days. Right now, Danny Sullivan, I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You want into Diamond City, right? Absolutely. I want in. I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> this place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. 
Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah. Greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I hope so. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had up? enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. And that quest is Story of the Century. And you can also get Piper as one of your companions. So let's head into Diamond City. It's massive, full of vendors. You'll find Nick Valentine's detective office. Everything you could possibly need, you can find here. Thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you out in the Commonwealth. <laughs>